to get it. Icing called against Hershey. And now, Dakbar went after somebody. And that's, I think, is Bakovic. Nakbar with a couple of right hands. Bakovic having problems reaching Nakbar. Tries to get him in a headlock now. Bakovic throws. Don't think he hit with it, though. And now Bakovic looking to wrestle the helmet off so he can get some shots in. Of course, Nakbar is a rangy kind of individual. Holds a rather sizable height advantage over Bakovic. And the two players at close quarters and Bakovic unable to get a hand free and do any damage on Nackbauer. So a hard hitting game in the first period has turned very physical here in the second. With Miller and Martinson coming to blows and now Bakovic and Nackbauer trading punches. And they will be going off for five minutes apiece. It was Nackbauer, Brady, who delivered a shot at the Flames' Benoit Doucette earlier in that shift. And I think that's what got Bakovic's blood. Of course, he has part of his job is to stand up for his smaller teammates. Look for his father said, Nackbauer elbows Richmond at the whistle on the edge of the crease. Hell Hill pulls down Claude Loisel. The Bears are in a state of frustration and exasperation. Don Nackbauer, who has made a living in this series by elbowing Red Wings with rude facial latherings and massages, that time flung an elbow into the face of Steve Richmond at the edge of the crease. 2.01 left, regulation time. The net is empty, the Hershey goal that is. Basil McRae has to be restrained. Dave Gantz pushes the linesman twice, three times, as Greg Jolly seems to be verbally badgering Gantz. The Bears are frustrated. Now Gantz pushes the linesman a fourth time, and that was the worst one of all. And now the Red Wings crowd pelts and peppers Gantz with projectiles. They're frustrated. Now Gantz pushes the linesman a fourth time. 